Hey guys, this is me Vedika and once again welcome back to my channel Vedika TV. So in the last video I talked about how infrared sensors work and also I mentioned about making a line follower robot. So yeah, so today's video is going to be related to our line follower robot again. It's going to be the basic planning of a line follower robot, how it, the line follower robot is going to work and how our line follower robot is going to look. So let's get started. All right, so starting off, I have a black line, which is going to be our line line for the line follow robot. And now I'm just going to be drawing a basic wheel structure just to represent our line follow robot. And the wheels are going to be on both sides of the line. So starting off, I have a I have the infrared sensors. And then connected to that, we are going to put a motor driver. And then we are going to put a motor, which is going to be connected to the motor driver and the infrared sensor. And then connected to that, we are going to put wheels. So we're going to have two wheels. All right, so now how is our robot going to work? So on both sides, you can see the surface is white. We have white surface on both sides. And the transmitter goes to the white and then since white reflects, everything comes back. Taking the red bulb example again, the red bulb is going to be off. It's not going to be glowing, so we can take that as off. And just in case if you haven't seen my previous video, go check it out because you might not understand what I'm saying and I have the link in the description box below. Okay, so coming back to our wheels, line follow robot. Um, since the surface is white and everything reflects, um, the wheels are going to be off and the motor driver is going to take the off and just convert it into a on. So, so now that the motor driver converted into on, it's going to send a message to the motor that asks the wheels to run and therefore the wheels are just going to move forward. Now coming to the other wheel, the same logic, the surface is going to be white. The transmitter goes to the white, everything comes back, reflects, it's off, and then the motor driver is going to convert it into on, send a message to the motor saying the wheels have to run, and therefore, the wheels move forward, and both the wheels are now moving forward, so the line follow robot is working. Now, what is going to happen if there is a turn in our path? Okay, so now that we have a turn in our path, what are we going to do? So before getting started, I'm just going to draw a basic um, wheel structure again, the infrared sensors, which will be connected to the motor and then the motor driver will be connected to the motor and then that will be connected to the wheel. Same thing on the other side too. Okay, coming back to this wheel right here, the surface is going to be white for this too. So everything that goes comes back, it reflects, uh, the wheel is off. The motor driver is just going to convert it into on and then the wheels are just going to start running and moving forward. Now before we get started, I'm going to keep in mind our red bulb. Now if you notice, the wheel right here, the surface is black. So everything that goes gets absorbed and then nothing comes back. So since everything got absorbed, the bulb is just going to start glowing. We can take that glowing as an on. And we can assume that the wheels are on and if the wheels are on, the motor driver is going to take the on, convert it into an off, send a message to the motor that asks the wheels to stop running. So now the wheels on the right have stopped running but the wheels on the left are still running and therefore the wheels on the left is going to take a turn and that is that simple. Alright, so starting off, I have a base, and the base will be made up of cardboard, thermocol, anything like that, nothing special. On the top, we are going to put two infrared sensors, and I'm giving you the top view of this robot, how the robot will look if we see it from the top. So, yeah. Connected to the infrared sensors, we will have a motor driver. And the motor driver will convert the off signals into on, on into off, and yeah.
Connected to the motor driver, we will have two motors, which is going to help our wheels to run and the motors will be connected to the wheels. So we are going to put two wheels on each side. And then we are going to put a battery. Um, the battery obviously will give our robot a little power to run and the battery will be connected to the motor, motor driver, infrared sensors and anything that needs power. So, yeah. Alright, so this is my basic planning of our line for the robot. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, like and share this video, comment your thoughts in the comment box below, and stay tuned to my channel to see how we are going to make the line follow robot.